Hi, I am Carly. I'm the Makerspace Specialist here at the Forest Park Branch Library, our brand new branch. And today we're going to be going through the steps of the direct garment printer. So the first step is to use the heat press. So I already put my shirt on here, but you want to situate it sideways. There's a little sticker to help. And then you always put parchment paper between your material and the heat press just to protect both of the items. So you just swing this around. And this first step is just to pretty much iron the shirt. So we're just laying it down gently and it's about 10 seconds just to make sure that it's nice and flat. And I'm just looking at the little timer on here and that should be good. So we'll swing it back and then we'll move on to the pretreatment. So then we are going to put this shirt onto here but we're gonna look first. So this has to be lined up with the zero part of this. This is how it keeps track of how far it's gonna spray the pretreatment. So we always wanna make sure this is at zero. And then we take our shirt and lay it down. And you wanna keep it consistent with where you've done the heat press the first time and where you are going to be spraying it. So my design is not super big. So I'm just gonna do about 10 inches. So it will spray 10 inches of the pretreatment area. So then I come over here and there's a little dial and I'm just gonna turn it to about 10 inches. And then we have to change the settings for the shirt because each fabric uses a different pretreatment speed. So this is currently set to the dark pretreatment Pretty much anything that is not white uses the dark or platinum pretreatment. So this shirt is, I would say about average. So we're gonna use 60 meters per second. I think that's the speed. And we're just gonna go to 60 on the dial and then we will hit start and it will start spraying. So I'm going to line it up and you can see where it's wet and where I sprayed. So you just want to make sure that that area is completely covered. So I'm going to take my parchment paper from before and then I'm going to spin the heat press around and then this is 30 seconds. So we're going all the way down and then for 30 seconds it's just going to heat up. So now we are going to go to the printer itself and we're gonna put our shirt on. And there is a step here where you change the height and you can do that before or after, you might have to change it after. So I'm just gonna put the shirt on and I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna put it onto this platen is what it's called. And I'm gonna make sure that there are no visible wrinkles, bumps, anything like that and I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and smooth. I'm gonna tuck all the material in. Any loose material can get stuck in the printer and damage it, so you don't want to leave anything hanging around. And then I'm going to put the frame on, and then again, I'm gonna check for wrinkles. You don't want to stretch your material because then when you take it off of the printer, it will be not straight with how it prints. And then I know that this is a shirt and so usually that's about one of the, um, the height. So I'm gonna lower it to one. And you can check in here and that's at one. And then I'm going to lock the mechanism. And then we are going to chest, test the platen height. This is very important that you test the height because if it's too close to the printer itself, it will not print. It also will not tell you if it's too low, it will only tell you if it's too high. So if it's too low, your print quality goes down. So I'm going to hit this test platen button and when the printer is done operating, it will send it in and if it does not like the height, it will have an error message on the screen and it will pop it back out. So then I will just lower it and send it back in until it does not do that. So it's already too high. So it pops up with an error message on the screen. You just hit 
OK, and then it will come back out. And then I'm just going to lower it. So the error message that pops up when it has the too close, it can happen quite a few times, especially if the material is a bit worn, if it has any kind of imperfection. So you can just do it as many times as you need. Sometimes it can take a bit. Let's try one more time. So it liked that one. So when it likes it, for some reason, it does not send it back out. So you have to hit the button again, and it will send it back out. But at this point, we are ready to print. So I will go to the computer and get all the stuff set up so that we are good to print. So now we are ready to print. And on here, it has different size platens. We have three different size platens available. And on here, you can specify which one you're using. The one we usually live on is the medium size platen, and that one is going to be uh, 14 inches by 16 inches. So it lists that over here, and then that is that default size. This blue line is the square that goes around the printed material, so just to kind of show the area that you're doing. I only pre-treated about 10 inches, so I just have to make sure that my design is not bigger than 10 inches. And in here, there are a lot of different settings that you can customize. So one of them is a black color t-shirt. So that is if you're doing a pure black shirt like in this image here. If you do click on that, it will not, or will not print the black ink in your design. So it's very important to know what you want to be printed and what is in your design. Light color t-shirt is the opposite. So this does not print um, any kind of white ink in the shirt. And also when printing normally with stuff that's other than the light color t-shirt, it will print two layers of ink. So it will print a white layer first and then a, the color layer on top of it. So if you do like the light color shirt, it just prints one layer of ink. It is a lot cheaper, but it doesn't look as good on darker shirts. So it really depends on what you want. Just for this, I'm doing a gray shirt, so I'm gonna click on dark color t-shirt, and that's what most shirts will end up being. And so in here, there's a lot of different settings that you can specify. Um, the print quality can be one to five for dark and black, and then light color is just one to four. So just to show you the price difference, I'm just gonna click on level one, and it doesn't, change it that much it just is how much ink is actually getting put on and something to keep in mind is we charge for the ink and the pretreatment cost so we have little slips that show or keep track of how much you need to be uh, paying at the end so it's very important to go up here where it has a, a little calculator and you just click on the estimate button and then you just click on estimate job and it will tell you how much this print would cost. So with the dark color t-shirt, uh, it will be 96 cents. So you just would write that down on your paper and then at the end, you just bring that up to us. So you just hit close. And if you do multiple shirts, you can put that you did multiple and then we do the math. So if I change this to level five, it will change the price. So if I go back to the calculator and I hit estimate job, so just going from level one to level five, it's now $1.45. So it does change the price. Uh, just for this, I will do level three, just because it's a bit easier. And then again, I'll just check the estimate, just because it's easy. So $1.20 would be how much this would cost if you were to be doing it. Um, it's pretty much impossible to estimate how much something will cost just by looking at it. It really just depends on your size, the colors, um, and what settings you do. But usually it can be between 50 cents and $10. It is very important to write down the estimate, otherwise it will be $10 per garment, just because again, we can't estimate how much stuff will cost just by looking at it. So with all of that set, I am just going to hit print. And because I already made sure the height was good, we are good to print. So how it's going to print is it will first print the white ink, so a base layer of white, and then it will print the color ink on top of it. And there is a viewing window on top, so if you want to watch, you can. Mm -hmm. 
So at this point, your print is done. The ink is wet, so when you're taking it off, you do have to be very careful because it will smear. Um, but then you just take it back to the heat press and then you'll fix it. And that depends on how much ink you used. If you did something that is a level five, that uses a lot more ink, so it will need a lot more time to fix. But this was just a level three and it's not super big, so we should just be good to do about a minute. So now we are back at the heat press and because the ink is on there, I'm going to separate the layers so that they don't stick together. So I'm just going to put the shirt onto the heat press, just like I did on the platen itself. And then I'm going to take my parchment paper. I'm just gonna lay it on there. You don't wanna move the parchment paper once you lay it down because again, the ink is wet and it will smear. So now we're gonna swing this around and this will be the full minute. And then again, if you're doing multiple layers of ink or something like that, you'll want to do more than one minute. This is good just with one minute. Um, and then you can also check after. If it's sticking a lot to the paper, that usually means it's very wet, so you want to do another minute. Um, and you can also do a little scratch test and see if any ink is coming off. That also means it's still wet. So you just would do that. And then if it's still wet, just put it in another minute. In between, you do want to raise the heat press and let the steam out just so that it doesn't build up and mess with your design. So now we're good. And there is our finished design. So it's all dry now, so you can scratch it and nothing comes off, that means it's completely dry. So what you will do next is wash it before you wear it. The pretreatment can be a little bit abrasive and you don't want a rash, so just wash it. And as long as you wash it inside out and on cold, it'll last you a long time.